are serious? Well, this is hammer throw, but I already confirmed it was coming. So I made like a new movement type. Uh, it doesn't really. It's kind of not really. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's kind of like like this. You see this? Um, it kind of has like some acceleration and deceleration. It's kind of like that. Um, that suggestion, right? It's not like you stop suddenly like this. There's actually like some physics around it. Um, the only reason is the only reason why it's not used is because I think it will be annoying. I re uh, honestly I prefer this style of movement more because it, it feels more natural. But I'm gonna be honest from a gameplay perspective on a game like TD, I just think this will be annoying. I'm not sure if this will work out, but the idea is just still there. I even scripted it, so yeah. You can't. I don't know. I don't know if I'll use this for anything. But it's still there, you know. What I did, it doesn't really fix it, but it's kind of like the approach I want to this problem is... Um, it kind of shows like the heal, the, you know, the health they will have when you heal them, if that makes sense. Uh, also, it improved the indicator a little bit, now it has all lines, because... Another problem that this had is that um, healing and giving shields was, was kind of a gamble in 1.1. Because you didn't, if you were trying to give the shield or heal through a wall, you didn't really know who you were healing or giving the shield to. So with the online, you can also know who you're giving the shield to, or other than you know the indicator here. So yeah, you just heal them, and if it doesn't break, it should work. Yeah, yeah, you just heal them, and you can see with 60 health, uh, it's just still, you know, it's just still yellow. So I'm gonna change the color. Uh, that's kind of how it goes.